in this video we will be discussing another transaction of sap that is some further ex more examples like how to search for different purchase orders and how to check details of other purchase orders that you want to get different types of highlights in your analysis and daily work routines so when i pressed me23n then this window has appeared in front of me so this is a certain purchase order that was created on 17th of august 2025 and it has all the details of this purchase order which are mentioned here so you can see the po purchase order number is 25001018 and the supplier number is 4103018 and the document date is 17th of august 2025 so this purchase order only has one line item with one material code that is 544006331 and the PO quantity is 100. The short text is chiller sleeve mesh dia 9 inches. The delivery date is 30th of August. Material group is MPD chillers. The plant name is mentioned. Storage location is mentioned. Then if we further go on the right side, you will see the format. The requisitioner number 5001976. Then if we further go in the right side, we can see the information record. We can see the purchase requisition number 8 Penta 0 9356 and the requisition item was 60. So if we further go on the right side, there is no specific information. So all the basic information related to this purchase order is mentioned in this picture where you can see the material code, quantities, material groups, plant, storage location, purchase requisition number, purchase requisition item, etc. So all these informations are retrieved from a certain purchase requisition that was created and then that purchase requisition was converted into purchase order after getting different quotations and comparative statements. So this is the main window. If we come on the downside, you can see there are multiple tabs that are being shown here. Let's start with the first one that is material data. So it is it will show the types of materials that are here. The material group is F060. 10012 so that is about material that data then we have quantities and weights in the second tab that will be showing the quantities of that line item you can see just above this the mid line item of that purchase order is selected as this po only has one line item so only this particular line item is being shown here that is 544006331 line item number 10 if there are multiple line items in a certain purchase order then we can select each line item and we can get all these details of that particular line item through these tabs so you can see in quantities and weights the quantity that is 100 is being shown and the type of unit is numbers so further moving on the right side we have delivery schedule and uh, then we have delivery in delivery schedule you can see the delivery date is mentioned scheduled quantity is mentioned purchase acquisition number and other things are mentioned then going on the right side we have delivery and uh, then we have invoice and after that we have the account assignment that is very necessary so in in, in delivery you can see there the total percentages are also mentioned so let's quickly move towards the right side to check all these relevant tabs so in you in account assignment you can see the fund number is mentioned the commitment item is mentioned the distribution is mentioned and the company code is mentioned so these informations are relevant related to the account assignment and financial transactions of that particular uh, purchase order so on the right side let's move forward there is the text of this uh, line item which will be shown here if the purchase requisition uh, requisitioner has entered any text in this <clears throat> so right now there is no text here so you can see you will if you enter that text in purchase requisition it will be visible here so moving forward we have delivery address we have confirmation we have condition control retail spec and in terms so these types of the things are mentioned in this lower side of the me23n transaction window so all these details of every item number of purchase order can be viewed through uh, this tab so let's move a bit upwards and you can see the header section is minimized let's first maximize it to see what are the options that are visible in the header section so the few of the options will be the quantities 
and uh, the uh, type of items, the PO additional data, the addresses, release strategy, organization data. So you can see here on this side, there are some items that are mentioned like PO additional data, delivery and invoice details, other details, the text of the PO. So let's check there will be some text that will be entered for this purchase order. Let's check out what the text is entered. So you can see the exchange rate, the payment term, 60 days, it is mentioned in delivery and invoice details. So moving forward, we have text, texts and then addresses, communication, partners, additional data, organizational data, uh, status, release strategy and in term. So again, you can see there is no data entered in the text tab. So this must be there because it will help the vendor to get the particular details of this purchase order. So any, another very important tab that is release strategy, the second last tab in the header section, you can see the release strategy in this section, it will be showing what are the release steps of this purchase order, who are the approvers that will be approving this particular purchase order. So there will be four to five persons that will be approving this purchase order. So as this is a low cost PO, so there are only two uh, purchase uh, PO purchase order approvers. The number one is AM Finance and the next one is AM Procurement. So uh, that is about the release strategy. And you can see that these two are, have already approved this purchase order and this is already approved. So that is about this window. Let's go a bit upwards. You can see there are five different things here. Personal settings. These are the settings related to this window that we are showing. We are looking here. The next one is information I. If we click here, it will be showing some different types of uh, uh, short abbreviations that are being used in this purchase order. So if this is for that, then on the left side, you can see its messages. And uh, then after that, we have the documents or the attachments. So you can see their user interface and this is the when I pressed a messages. So this information is shown. So it's not relevant to us. So the next one is document overview. If we press it, a tab on the left side of the window will be visible. And in this window, you can search out other purchase orders as well. So this is for that. On the bit upper side, you can see a small arrow in the yellow colored that is being shown just on the left side of FFL local PO stock. If I click this, you can see a drop down menu will be displayed to you. And in this drop down menu, there will be some more informations that will be visible. Let's click that and we will see what are the other uh, things that are visible in this. So here in this window, uh, as it is opening, you will see there is an attachment list in the first or second number uh, side. So in the attachment list, what is there? So attachment list are the documents that are attached as a supporting documents of this purchase order. So if any purchase order is approved, so there will be some uh, supporting documents like the comparative statements or the uh, the quotations or different types of things. So these are approved in some industries. These are approved manually in some industries it is being approved on emails. So the attachment list you can see here, the second number, it has the types of documents that are attached with that purchase order. So whenever this purchase order will be analyzed in, in future, that specific uh, document will be opened to see what were the quotations, what were the approvers, what are the other details for this purchase order. So you can see I have clicked on the attachment list and you will see that the attachments that are included in this purchase order will be visible to you. So you can see there is only one attachment for this purchase order to 5000010818 that is KST, the comparative statement, the creator name is procurement executive and it was created on 19th of August. So if I click on this comparative statement, then what will happen? The It will be opened in PDF and uh, it will show me the details in that particular uh, comparative statement. So that is about the initial use of ME23N, the transaction that is used to display any specific purchase order. It uh, cannot show you the different list of purchase order. You have to select one purchase order. Either you have to uh, write its uh, number. If you uh, remember it correctly, you can write it its number or you have to find that uh, relevant purchase order and then you have to enter that purchase order and uh, you will be uh, uh, viewing all the details. So again, you can see in this window after document overview that this one option, the create, 
if you want to create a new purchase order you will click this if you have that authorization then on the right side there is display or change to change this purchase order you will click this button f7 or this one the uh, uh, glasses or the pen option then the third option this one is other purchase orders or shift plus f5 so if you click this button the shift plus f5 or other purchase order you will see it will give you a pop-up window and it will ask you to find or search for some other purchase orders so if you want to look at some different purchase order you will click this button see the select document window is appeared in front of you and it is showing you the current purchase order number so if i want to search another purchase order for example i want to search this purchase order 817 i want to search this purchase order so i will write this number as i already knew the purchase order number i will write this number and i will press enter then if any po exists with this number as it already does then that purchase order will be opened in this window of me23n and you will be able to see all the details of that purchase order in your window so what i have done i will repeat i have clicked on that button of select another po i have opened that pop-up has appeared i have entered and other purchase order number that was 817 and it will show me that purchase order so here it is this purchase order is open you see it's a very uh, large po its details are completely different it's currently release strategy is open you can see there are five approvers for this purchase order and there are lots of line items i think more than 60 to 70 line items are there in its purchase uh, uh, material codes and purchase order items so it's a large po so i can uh, similarly I can see all the details for this purchase order using the same method that I have used previously and I can make my analysis accordingly. So here that's it about this video of ME23N. We have created another video about this uh, transaction to make you aware how to use this transaction and how to get all the details of uh, any purchase order. Uh, through this transaction so for any question you can just write in comments tab and if you want us to make video on some other transaction of SAP or if you want to learn some other topic of SAP please write in comments tab please like this video share this video and subscribe to our channel until next time take care bye bye